Good evening, teacher. Hey. I'm on time. <laughs> All right, great. Awesome, awesome. Great, great. Hey, today's the game, huh? I actually, I don't like soccer. Uh, all right. Maybe that's why you're here right now, not everyone else. Huh? <laughs> all right. Let me see. Man, I had a, I had a problem with my USB, man. I don't know. I have to. It just happened like 40 minutes before the class. I was trying to go to my USB to get the uh, PowerPoint presentations, right? That way yeah. I just put everything. Ya las tengo hechas. And I just have to modify them every day, right, for the contenidos, for the content. And I couldn't, I couldn't open it. I couldn't open nothing. So I'm using my other laptop. Me dice comprobación de errores. You know, when you tag it and it says reparar. Yeah, maybe I think the, the other computer detected like a virus. So it, it, um, it, um, it won't let me. So I had to create a new one. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. make everything new. The, the PowerPoint presentation, I was like, wow, I barely finished like uh, six minutes ago, right? That, that's, that happened to my coworker. So how, how can I extract? Because I have everything there. Can I still extract? I have to maybe look at some YouTube videos or something because that's the first time... It has happened to me. ¿Se puede todavía extraer todo, como todo el contenido del USB, o ya, ya no? Maybe if the computer has an eraser. Okay. All right. Let me see. Okay, so how are you, Blanca? Hello. Hello. Welcome, welcome. How was your day today? Very tired, but it, it was a good day. It was it's a, a product. Good... <laughs> it, it was a productive day. Okay, great, great, awesome, awesome. Yeah. Let me see. Okay. So today is Wednesday, right? We're almost. We we're, we're going to finish the uh, the unit. All we're going to have is that one extra day. Since uh, we still miss some time, so we will do that extra day next week. All right. Um, has anyone checked the prices? On what? On Bitcoin? Yeah. What is the price for today? Let me check. How is it today? I know the last time we checked was Friday, right? Yeah. Friday, it was 53, it was 53. Then it, went up, then it went up to 57. Okay, right now, 58. 58. 58, 263. All right. It just went up $30 more, 295. <laughs> I'm watching it live right here, all right? <laughs> uh, 58, 295.36. It just went up 3% in the last 24 hours. All right. Cool. Making money. All right. Making money and not working. Wow. Okay. <laughs> nice. Get ready for Christmas. All right. <laughs> that would be a Christmas bonus. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So it's almost 60,000. All right. Cool. Let me see. Hello, Carlos. Hello, Edwin. Hello, Janari. Hello, teacher. Good evening. All right. Welcome. Welcome. Hello, All right. How are you today? Everything good? Yeah. All right. Janari said, yeah. All right. <laughs> so in the morning, I went late to my job because it was a terrific traffic. Oh, it was a lot. Yeah, I bet it was, right? Traffic yeah. everywhere now. In the morning, it was raining. It, it was, it was what? Raining. It was, it was raining, yeah. I bet yeah. it was. Yeah, it was pretty wet in the majority of the parts of, of the region, right? It was pretty wet. It was. My day have been funny. 
Mm, tell us, Carlos, what happened? Yeah, we we were we were uh, learning about our song machine. Some what? We, song machine. Machines. Machine. Machine. Yeah. All right. All right. So you were learning how to use it and stuff like that. We right. were fixing. Okay. Fixing. All right. You're fixing the machines. All right. Let me see. Let me check. Good evening. Well, hello, Diana. Welcome. Welcome. All right. Let me see. Check the attendance here. Okay. I hope we win today. All right. Supposedly we're supposed to be playing uh, Mexico or something. <laughs> we're supposed to be playing Mexico or something, right? Okay. Let me let me go back over here. Damn it, on this side. Let me let's see. All right. One. One, two, three, four, four. Let me check the other side. Four, five, five. Okay, great. We have one that did it. Uh, let me see. One that just finished. Okay. Now I want to. I want to. Uh, mention something to you right that there was there's still some people that haven't completed the um, the homework three okay remember that today at 12 a las 12 tengo que subir las notas right and when i do it y voy a poner la nota que me sale allí si tienen un cero esa es la nota que voy a mandar so recordarles all right Te vengo recordando desde hace días. Remember, try to do it. You have to midnight. No publiqué la lista en el grupo, all right? Porque ayer les comenté quienes ya habían lo habían hecho y los que no comenté eso fueron los que faltaban, right? But si para las 12 no no lo han hecho, eh, entonces sí voy a mandar una lista eh, de los que no han eh, cumplido ese requisito de Insafor. No lo quiero hacer, all right? I don't want to do it. Nunca me ha gustado hacerlo, pero sí lo he hecho varias veces porque en mi nación me lo pide. All right? No es que algo que, que venga de mí, sino que ellos me lo piden. Right? Ellos me lo piden para compararlo con la plataforma. Right? Porque van a ver lo que yo pongo y lo que está en la plataforma y yo quiere que yo lo verifique. All right? Now, estamos ya en estos días de que se están haciendo uh, las gestiones para la siguiente beca. Right? Como pudieron ver, eh, administración mandó un mensaje al grupo. And I'm saying all this in Spanish so it can be very clear, okay? Porque no quiero que nadie se quede afuera de una beca, all right? O que alguien más esté, hay bastante gente que quiere en beca, right? Y si ustedes dicen, no, pues, okay, yo no quiero, whatever, alguien más, alguien más llega, right? Entonces ya tienen esta oportunidad. Don't waste it, okay? Don't waste it. Don't waste it. And use it as much as you can, right? Usen esta beca lo más posible. Las veces que, que puedan, siempre háganlo, right? Mucha gente desea esta oportunidad. Ustedes ya la tienen. No la desperdicien, right? Créanme. He visto varios en otras clases han perdido la beca por irresponsabilidad o porque se atienen a que le, eh, se les va a mandar los papeles a administración. Como pudieron ver en el grupo, muchos pensaron que ya se habían enviado y en realidad no, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, administración lo puso ahí en el grupo, que es responsabilidad eh, de ustedes de estar pendientes de que sus documentos sean enviados. No esperen hasta el último momento, ¿all right? Porque después lo, lo pueden quedar afuera y ya no hay eh, como para regresar al tiempo, right? 
Remember, parece que le dieron pasta para cuando? Hasta el viernes, right? Si no me equivoco. Hasta el viernes. Um, para que estén atentos de que estén esos documentos enviados a administración. Ay, no sé cuántos de aquí ya lo hicieron, pero yo sé que algunos sí, y algunos estaban como que sí, y administración dijo que no se había recibido, right? So, be attentive, ok? Always be attentive. Siempre hay que estar atento de esto, right? No dejen de que, oh, sí, me dijeron de que ya lo enviaron, y después a la hora de la hora, que mañana, que mañana, y nunca, right? So remember, right? We're still in El Salvador, all right? Seguimos en El Salvador, remember that. So I'm just telling you this como un consejo, okay? All right? Y aquellos que ya lo hicieron, hey, felicidades, right? And I hope you continue. I hope you continue. All right. Now, and remember that I there are some parts. There are some parts that must be done. Hay algunas partes que se tienen que hacer como parte del requisito de INSAFOR. ¿Ok? ¿Cuáles son esos requisitos que no se pueden como decir? Ah, maybe, maybe. No, these are like 100% that have to be done. There are one. The attendance. La asistencia. All right? Remember, I do not control the attendance. All right? I control whenever I say, I call your name and you say present. Eso sí, pero los minutos, I do not control it. All right? That is the platform. Automáticamente cuando se conectan con su correo, eso queda grabado de la conectividad, los minutos de conectividad. That is one, the attendance. Number two, la plataforma. All right? Las tareas de la plataforma. If you do not do them, si usted no las hace, está dando el punto que usted quizás no quiere seguir. All right? Eh, pero espero que no sea esa la idea, right? La plataforma es el requisito number two. You have to do them. Number three, the survey, la encuesta, se va a hacer la próxima semana. Y nomás es ese día. All right? Una vez más les digo, no fallen ese día porque ese es el tercer requisito. All right? Those three must be complete. All right? For, eh, para que sea como de, uh, completada en los requisitos para seguir con la beca. All right. I'm just making it clear so you won't be left al final con preguntas or, or I didn't know or the teacher didn't tell me or cosas of that nature. So be, always be one step ahead. Okay. Don't ever be one step behind. Right? Siempre hay que estar adelante y no atrás del proceso. Right? That's, that's the other thing. Any questions? Uh, any questions that you have right now? We're almost finished with the, uh, with the module. So if you have any questions, remember, I am here to help you. And if I can, I will. And if I can, then I can always contact administration to help you. Okay? So let me know. All right? Porque estoy viendo todavía que hay cinco que no han hecho o poquito de la plataforma del Homework 3 o tienen ahorita un cero. All right? So I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know. So you won't be affected. Okay. Now. Y para dice el teacher, usted nos dice eso cada rato, right? Ok, porque cada vez siempre hay unos que no, no, no cumplen ese requisito. Por eso lo tengo que decir para que quede aquí grabado por si Insafora audita. Si yo les dije a ustedes que tenían que hacer los requisitos o no, porque a mí también me auditan. All right. So si dice, ah, teacher Henry ni les comenta que tenían ese requisito, pues me van a llamar la atención a mí. Right? So, yes, Freddy. Aunque ellos... Eh, nos pidieron ese requisito para inscribirnos. Exactamente. Entonces, todos y, estamos uh -huh. y, y, y imagínense, y todavía tengo que recordar, porque hay cinco ahorita, ahorita, ahorita mismo hay cinco que no tienen, como tres o cuatro tienen un, no han hecho ni una de la plataforma del Homework 3 o no han completado todo. Tienen como un 30 o something like that, right? Um, So it's like, okay, si todos lo hubieran hecho, ahorita estuviera como, hey, everybody finish, let's continue, right? 
But unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, that's not the case, right? And you're right, Freddy. Administración me ha comentado a mí que antes de que ustedes entren, ustedes han aceptado esos requisitos, right? Para, para adquirir la beca, right? Una cosa es aceptarlo y otra cosa es cumplir, right? So, but yes, I understand, Freddy, and you are absolutely correct. I understand. But, you know, this is the reality, right? This is the reality. Now, I'm going to remind you, I did not put your names. No mandé sus nombres al grupo. But next week, si llegamos a lo mismo, cuando estamos otra vez, eh, voy, voy a poner sus nombres. Okay? So I'm letting you know ahead of time. Aquellos que se atienen hasta el último día, I will send your name. No como incumplimiento. No, no, no lo van a tomar así. Sino como para aviso de que tienen hasta ese día de las 12 para cumplir. Right? Ahorita no lo he hecho. Right? Y no lo quiero hacer. I don't want to do it. Right? Pero eh, ellos me han pedido de que, soli que mande un, una, un listado. Un listado. Right? Y no lo he hecho. I haven't done it. Right? A menos que me digan, Ticho, yo no lo voy a hacer. Ahí mande mi nombre. Ok, no problem. I will, I will do it. All right. Let's continue. And... Ah, también me mandaron un mensaje administrativo. Um, you will receive, you will, I'm going to say in Spanish because this is important. Ustedes van a recibir un correo o una información, ok, eh, para la encuesta. Nadie... No sé cuántos de aquí son nuevos, right? pero quizás los que ya han estado antes, quizás ya saben esto. Pero esto es para los que están nuevos también, o recordarles. Nadie está autorizado para hacer la encuesta. La vamos a hacer en clase juntos. Ok. I'm going to repeat it. You are not authorized to do the survey. Ok. Esto me lo mandaron a mí, administrativo, para que yo les diga a ustedes porque la vamos a hacer juntos esa encuesta, ¿ok? Esa encuesta la vamos a hacer la otra semana, pero cuando le llegue la información, no empiece usted a, a realizar la encuesta. Si usted hace la encuesta y sale mal, ya no la va a poder hacer otra vez. All right? I hope you understand, ¿ok? Cuando le llegue eso, espérense hasta que llegue, la hagamos juntos, porque cuando la hagamos juntos, también va a estar presente la área administrativa durante, este, durante, es, durante esta encuesta. ¿Ok? Claros, class, are we clear? Cuando les llegue esa información de encuesta, no la hagan. Un error ya, ya estuvo. ¿All right? Y ese es el tercer requisito. ¿All right? Don't do it. We're going to do it in class. Incluso va a estar, como les dije, la área administrativa aquí Presente cuando hacemos la encuesta juntos. Ok, let's continue. I'm going to take the first attendance and I just want to clear that up. Let me see. Abigail. Present. Thank you. Beatriz. Present. All right, thank you. Blanca. Present. Okay, thank you. Okay, Brenda. Okay, no answer. Carlos. I'm per present teacher. Okay, no problem. Okay, Diana. Present. All right, awesome. Okay, let me see. Okay, Edwin is here. See there, Flor. Flor. Okay, no answer. Francisco. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Fredis. Good teacher. All right, thank you. Glenda. Good evening. I here. I am here. Okay, thank you. Iris. Jackie. Jackie. 
All right, I see you, Jackie. I see you. <laughs> okay. Jarvin. Present teacher. All right, great. Jennifer. Jennifer. Okay. I see you here. Maybe you have connection. Juan Jose. Hello. Hi. Hi. All right. Great. Miguel. Miguel. Okay, no answer. Fabio. Present. All right, great. Awesome. Rolando. All right, no answer. Hey, Janari. I'm here. All right, great. Okay. Okay, class. Let's continue. And I'm going to compare this presentation. I had to create it from scratch again. All right, can you read it, please? Mm, Janari. Okay. Calcity verb cartoon. Create your own sentences. Good activities. Wednesday, October 13th, 2021. Teacher, Mr. Henry, intermediate three, class number 20. Okay, great. Awesome. Good job. This is class number 20. And we are going to continue where we left off yesterday. We're going to look at part two of causative verbs. And we are going to begin on page, page 31, 31 of your book, page 31. And let me see. I'm going to show it here. In case you don't have it there, you can see it here on the screen. All right here we have two more, right? Remember yesterday we saw, which ones did we see yesterday? Can someone tell me or remember? It was make and get. Very good, excellent. Make and get, right? And today we're going to look at help and let. Help and let. All right, let's begin with um, Fabio. Can you begin reading? Let me, let me help you make this a little bit bigger. Hold on. Okay, go ahead, Fabio. Roll. How to use causative verbs part two. Look at the example in the box, then complete the exercise below. Exercises. Exercises below. Excellent. Good job. Continue. You're doing great. Verbs help and let. Help plus someone plus base form, form of a verb infinitive. The training helps small business owners replicate the success of big brands. A marketing expert could help you to understand the basic principles of branding. Okay, basic, basic. basic. Very good, excellent, continue. Let plus someone plus base form of a verb. Some companies let cli clients go through a service trial before they decide to purchase. An effective brand lets people explore the benefits of their products. Very good. Very good. Excellent. So now we have here two different ones from yesterday, right? Help plus someone plus base form of verb or infinitive, right? We can use either or here. You can use either or. Unlike let, you use let plus someone plus base form of the verb. So here, um, just a little bit different, just a little bit different, but it doesn't give you like, okay, what is the meaning of let? What is the meaning of help, right? Uh, more information, teacher, I have it for you. I have it for you. Okay, help. Let's look at help. This is extra information. This is not in your book. This is something that I went and got for you. Francisco, hello, Francisco. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome. Can you please read help? About help. Yes, sir. Okay, help. The verb help 
those are not exactly uh, causing someone mm, cause cause someone to do something about it mm. doesn't like mm. or ate. Okay, hold on. But 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 it, it mm -hmm. but it doesn't. No, it does. But it does. Uh, a B or, or A B. Aid, 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 uh, aid the person in doing to action. In doing the action. In doing the action. So we can call in the okay. selling counseling. We can, we, can, we can call it. Call it. A oh, okay. call, call it a semi causative verb. Okay. All right, we can call it semi, semi, semi. Oh, semi. Very good, all right. We what? can call it a semi causative verb. What is the meaning of semi, teacher? Okay, semi means it's not really a causative verb per se, but we can call it semi means half, como a mitad, all right? Oh. Halfway through, right? Uh, it's, it's like to middle. Yeah, like in between. Yes, yes. Um, me, right? Yes. Between. Right? We okay, can call it okay. semi causative verb, but it still represents a causative verb. Because as you can remember the definition that I gave you about causative verbs, that it causes something. Acuerdan? The definition about causative verbs. But here, it doesn't cause something or, or for someone, right? But it does aid. Pero okay. It, it helps. Ayuda. It helps the person in doing the action. So that's why they call it a semi causative verb. It's still considered a causative verb, but not 100%. All right. It's like when you have a helping verb. It's okay. not really an actual verb or an action verb, but it's really a helping verb, but it's still a verb, right? <laughs> Something of that nature. Yes, for to do the. Help or whatever. Exactly. Um, action, maybe. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. Continue, Francisco. Here, meaning. Meaning to aid someone, someone in. Okay. Someone, someone. Someone, someone in doing something. Okay. Doing. Doing. doing very good to aid someone in doing something this is where you aid aid is the same thing as helping someone right or facilitarle a alguien eh, una asistencia to help someone or to aid someone in doing something in doing something that is the meaning when we use the word help okay oh. let me see thank you um francisco okay teacher. okay Abigail, I see you very, you're thinking there. Okay, go ahead, continue, please. Structure. Structure, subject plus help, all tenses, plus someone, object, plus infinity, or bare infinity. Okay, in other words, bare infinity is the other word, base form, okay? That's just another another way to say it also. It's very rare, but you can say base infinity or base form, all right? But here we're using object. Remember the object, what I talked, I told you last week? What are some of the object pronouns? You remember? One more time. Me, her, him, ah, her. Very good, excellent, right? Excellent, very good. And then we have all tenses here in parentheses. Remember I told you yesterday that you can use different tenses Right, and we were talking with uh, Fabio, I believe, right? If I'm not mistaken about the tenses and how we can use them with the causative verbs. Now, let's look at the examples. Uh, let me see, Jackie. Give me the first two right here, these right here. 
Jackie. Okay, can you hear me? Sure, I can hear you loud and clear, Jackie. Okay, thank you. The first one is, I help him to write the report or I help him write. Okay, the report. Hello, Jackie? Uh, yes, can you hear me? Okay, now I can hear you, right? Can you repeat the uh, last one, please? Uh, okay, I help him write the report. Excellent, thank you, Jackie. Perfect. Okay, thank you. All right, so as you can see, I helped him, right? The help in, uh, in past tense, I helped him to write, you can use base form or the infinitive. Here's the infinitive to, and here's just the base form of the verb, all right? What I mentioned to you right here, infinitive or base form of the verb. You can use either or, okay? Let's continue with the next examples. Jennifer. Jennifer, are you there? Hello? One, two, three. Okay, Glenda, can you continue, please? Okay. The first one is, she never helped me prepare breakfast. Okay, very good. She never helps me prepare okay. breakfast, right? Notice the word here, helps, right? Help. And then the object, in this case is the object pronoun, and then we have base form of the verb, prepare. Now, can we say, um, Glenda, can we say, she never helps me to prepare breakfast? Podemos hacerlo así, can we do it that way? Uh, I, I think, uh, no. Mm -hmm. Okay. She never helps me. Okay. Okay. What about you, Beatriz? Can you say she never helps me to prepare breakfast? Yes, it's correct. In the both form, it's correct if you say only the infinity or bare infinity. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Yes, okay, Glenda. You can use Okay. You can okay. use the, you can use the infinitive also, okay? You can use both okay. forms. Just like the examples right here. To write or write. You can use both. Okay, next to one. To, me to prepare. Yes. Glenda, can you continue, please? Okay. Johnny will help you solve this matter. Very good. Johnny will help you solve this matter. Thank you, Glenda. All right, Jennifer, are you still here? Uh, hold on, just give me one minute, please. Yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay. All right, Jennifer, can you continue, please? Yes, teacher. Johnny will help you solve this matter. Will you help me do this? Okay, will you help me do this? Now, Jennifer, can we add infinitive to will you help me? Can you make that into the infinitive form? Yes. Johnny. Uh, and, uh, the other one, please. Will you? Oh. Do you? No. Could it be? Can you help me to do to do this? Mm hmm. Okay. Can someone help Jennifer make this into the infinitive? Will you? Okay. 
Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 I can hear your. Hold on. Sorry. I have to put you on mute porque soy oye muy recio la televisión. El partido se oye. All right. So I have to put you on mute. Sorry. Um, Beatriz, can you help Jennifer, please? With yes. This? Will you help, help me to do this? Very good. Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. Yes, teacher. Okay. Now, when we... When we talk about the infinitive, remember you can use both, okay? Based on the structure here, the grammatical structure, you can make this infinitive. Will you help me to do this? Okay, Jennifer? Okay, teacher. All right. Now, remember, here's the infinite, to do, right? And then you have the base form, do. All right, let's continue. Let me call on someone else. Thank you, Jennifer. Um, thank you, thank you. Okay, Jarvin. Okay, sure. All right, great. Can you do the next one, please? Okay, my sister Ria helps me edit the, the videos. Very good. Can you make it infinitive? Let me try. My sister Ria helps me to edit the videos. Okay, edit, edit, edit. Very edit. good, very good. Thank you, thank you, Jarvin. Excellent. Next one, uh, let me call on to, 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 to. Diana. Yes. Can you do the next one, please? Yeah. You should help her to reach there. Okay, very good. Can you make it base form? You should help her reach there. Perfect, excellent. Thank you, Diana. Excellent, well done. All right, next one. Um, Juan Jose. Okay, you must help me get this job. Very good. Can you make it infinitive, please? You must help me to get this job. Okay, must, must, must. You must help me to yes. get this job. Excellent, thank you, thank you, Juan Jose, perfect. You must help me get this job or you must help me to get this job. Now, as you can see, you can use both forms. Okay. There's nothing wrong with it. It depends on how you want to use it. Depends on you as the speaker you decide if you want to or not, but they're both correct. This is easy, right? Causative verbs. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. Which one is the next one, class? Let. All right, let, thank you. Teacher, I have a question. Sure. I remember, uh, I, I don't remember the grammatical rule, but I'm going to tell you one example. For example, you must study getting a good grade. You must study. You must study. You must study getting a good grade. I remember you use ing in the verb getting. I don't know, is that? Correct. Okay. You it's must different or is different. What okay, you must study getting a good grade. Mm, now here that is really a gerund. Okay. That is es un gerundo, it's a gerund, right? So remember that gerunds are verbs with ing, but they do they do not function. No funcionan como un verbo, okay? They do not function as a verb. They can function as an object, as a subject, even as a noun, right? But these are called gerunds, Beatriz. Remember that when we talk about verbs with ing, when we want to use them as present continuous or present progressive, 
they must have the verb to be. Gerunds do not need a verb to be because they are not functioning as an actual verb. Although they are verbs, but they are not functioning as verbs. They are called gerunds. So if you want to, the, uh, this is what they are. These are called gerunds. Okay, have you heard of this before, Beatriz? Yes, no, maybe? Yes, I, okay. I, I heard that. Now, you must study getting a good grade. I would use the infinitive there, Beatriz. I, you must study to get a good grade. You must study to get a good grade. That will be more appropriate with the infinitive. You must study to get a good grade. When you use getting, mm, it really doesn't, you can use the ing in different forms as a gerund, but this will be the most appropriate one for this sentence. You must study to get, to acquire something. Debe de estudiar para adquirir que una buena nota. All right? To get will be more appropriate. Now I'm going to, I don't want to deviate from the topic, but I'm going to give you an example of a gerund que se usa como un subject. Maybe the rest will probably be teacher. What? Okay, uh, uh, verb in ing as a subject? Yeah. All right. I'm going to give you an example here. And let me see. Get looking is a uh, general teacher. Okay. Did you, who had a question? Someone was asking me a question. Someone was saying something? Yes. Uh, yes, me. Okay. Uh, for example, get. Uh, we need to use get only for option verbs, or no? Now, no, remember that we're using these as causative verbs, okay? We're using them as causative verbs. Get is a verb, but we can yes. also use it as a causative verb that causes an action, a reaction, right? For example, get, you can also use it in a phrasal verb. Get up, right? No significa oh, que está causando okay. una acción a alguien, right? It's just mm -hmm. an action, right? That is also a phrasal verb. Get has many different functions, okay? Mm -hmm. If you if you put it in different categories, like oh, okay. get up, right? Or when you when you give a command, mm -hmm. a command, just one phrase, mm -hmm. right? Get up, right? It's like no hay oh, subject, okay. no hay right. Mm -hmm. it, it, but it's a phrase, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, it has different meanings. It has okay, different in this case, we can use for, for both option. Uh, no yes. Yes. option, um, option. Exactly. Oh, right? Okay. You can give a command or you can use it as an action, as a causative verb. You must study to get like uh, this one here or mm -hmm. the, the other way we're going to use it and I will show you here in a minute. Okay, Francisco? Ah, okay, okay. No problem. Now. Th thank you. No problem. Thank you for asking. Now, Beatriz. Okay. Dígame. Eating. When we say this, I'm going to use it. This is a gerund. I guess it's gerund, but it's a subject. Here. I, You see here, eat, yes. eating, same word, same writing, same pronunciation, but it's not grammatically speaking. This is the verb here. It's not, it's a gerund. Ejemplo, 
Just, just translate. Can someone translate this into Spanish? Beatriz, translate this to Spanish. Estoy comiendo comida. Okay. Comiendo, right? Y aquí? Comer. Ah, comer, right? Yeah. You see? It's not comiendo like we're using it here. We use comer, right? Es gerundo. It's a gerund. It is not functioning as a verb. It's really a subject. Comer comida grasa, right? The subject is comer, comer, right? Or for example, when you say uh, other other signs that you see here, smoking is not permitted. No es permitido, right? In this building. All right. Is this the verb that we use with ing as present continuous? Or is this a gerund? It's a gerund. Very good, right? Fumar no está permitido, no? No say fumando no está, right? You can't, right? This is a gerund, okay? So this is the difference between what you were talking about earlier about getting with here. versus the function of a present continuous as a verb. Okay, Beatriz? So I'm just giving you more. There's different forms to use it. There are like three different ways to use gerunds. All right, but this is just the, the one of the main ones when we use it as a subject. All right, okay. but thank you for your question, Beatriz. Thank right? you, teacher. Right. I have a tight idea. All right, very good, very good, excellent. All right. And you said it, you said it to comer, right? Like, hey, that is comiendo, right? Very good. Yeah. Excellent. Very good, very good. Thank you. Thank you. All right. It's always good when the, when you ask questions, right? All right. Let's continue with the next one. Let. Let. Okay. Can you begin, please, reading? Um, Let me sure. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, um, Go ahead, Carlos. Okay. Okay. Let the verb let means to allow, the, allow or permit allow or permit someone to do something. The causative verbs, like any other main verbs, can be useful in any tense. Okay. Very good can be used in any tense. Remember I was telling you yesterday, any tense is acceptable. Continue, please. Structure. Structure, subject plus let all tenses plus person object plus bare infinitive. All right, continue. B1. Herb. My father lets okay, my, my father? father lets us watch TV after dinner. Okay, very good, very good. My father lets us watch TV after dinner. Continue, please. Yes, my father allows my father allows us to watch Allo TV after dinner. Allows. Allows. Okay, my father allows us okay. to watch after dinner. While eating dinner, he does not allow us to watch TV. Okay, very good, very good. My father allows us to watch TV after dinner. While eating dinner, he does not allow us allow to watch us to watch TV. All right, continue, please. Examples. Yes. Examples. He never lets me touch his phone. They didn't let us talk. I didn't never let her to go there. Okay, repeat that again, please. I will never ah. let her go there. Much better. Yes. Continue. Why? Don't let him play with us. Repeat it, please. Why don't 
Yes. Why don't let him play with us? Okay, okay, uh, Carlos, Carlos. Yes. You are missing some words when you read the sentences, okay? Te estás pasando algunas palabras. Read it again, please. Okay, okay. Why don't you let him play with us? Perfect. Yes. You must let him study with Ria. Okay. I couldn't let him talk rudely, rudely, rudely to your mother. Very good. Rudely, rudely. Rudely, rudely to your mother. Very good. That is enough. Okay. Sometimes the subject of the causative verse let is implied. Implied, you. implied. Implied you. Okay. Let me handle this. Um, equal, you let me handle this. Okay. Please let us go. Let them do that they want to do. Repeat it, please. Let them do what they want to do. Much better. Very good. Let them do what they want to do, right? Uh, very good. Yes. Excellent. Good job. And now, is, if you notice here where it says, let me handle this, right? It's like when you're taking the initiative to say, deja que, deja que lo haga, right? Without, without the implication of using you. Instead of saying, you let me handle this. When you use the word, when you're talking with someone, when you're in a communicative manner, when you automatically uh, assume that the other person is being used in the sentence. For example, if they said you, you can omit you and just go straight to the verb. Let me handle this. Let me handle it without using the subject you. Quiere decir que está, ya está implicado, all right? It's already implied. It's already implied, okay? That's what it means here. Let me handle this. Instead of saying, you let me handle this. Right? And we use that the same way in Spanish, right? Deja que yo, deja que yo lo haga, right? En vez de decir, tú deja que yo lo haga. No más decir, deja que yo lo haga, right? Let me do it. Let me work. Let me talk. Right? Let me eat. Those are just different examples without the subject. Okay? Now, when we use let, remember that it, we're talking about base form of the verb, okay? We're talking about base form of the verb. Unlike help, we could use infinitive and base form. Here, only base form, okay? Only base form, base form. So whenever you see something like this, V1, in any material, whether it's here or somewhere else, whenever you see this initial, the V1, we're talking about base form of the verb. Okay? Those are like grammatical signs, if you want to call them, right? Like the sign where you go to chemistry and the, and the sign for sodium and and all the other gases and, and molecules and everything in science, right? They have like little letters and numbers, right? All right, let's, um, now, let me continue with this. All right, this is from yesterday. We did make and we did get, right? We did this yesterday, make and get. I hope yesterday you took note, All right? Remember yesterday? Can someone tell me what I said yesterday? What was a reminder? What were we going to do today? Does someone remember? We're going to do a sentence. We have to make our, our examples. Exactly. Exactly. Using all four, right? Using all four. But before we do that, I'm going to take the second attendance. OK. 
Okay, I'm going to take the second attendance. Abigail? Present. Okay, thank you. Beatriz? Present. All right. Blanca? Blanca? Okay, no answer. Um, Brenda? Okay, no answer. Carlos? I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, Tiana? Present. Okay, thank you. Edwin? Okay, you're here. Yeah, I see you right there. All right. Flor? Flor. Okay, todavía no se ha conectado. No answer. Francisco? Present, teacher. All right, great. Freddy's? Teacher. All right, great. Glenda? Present, teacher. All right. Iris? 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 Okay, no answer. Jackie? I'm here. All right, Jackie, I see you right there. <laughs> okay, Jarvin. I am here. All right, great. Jennifer. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Juan Jose. Present teacher. Okay, great. Miguel. Miguel. Okay, no answer. Not Hi, teacher. I'm here. Okay. Uh, Fabio. Present. Okay, thank you. Rolando. Rolando. Okay, still not connected. And Janari. I'm here. All right, great. Okay, Blanca, I heard you. Thank you. Let me see. Okay. Let me go back over here. Does anyone want to look for a minute or two what we did yesterday? Alguien quiere un repaso con las otras dos causative verbs with the other two, like maybe two minutes max for each one? Anyone would like to look at them before we do the activity? Yes, teacher. I think it's a great idea. All right, great. Yes, teacher. I would like to. Okay, great. Okay, I put them here just in case all right all right great so uh, let's look at make okay let's look at make so we saw help right we saw help we did it earlier then we did let right and we just finished that one and then yesterday we did make Make, which is force or requires someone to take action. Here's the, here's the structure, okay? If you want to take a picture, make plus person plus verb in base form, in the base form. Make, remember, you can use all tenses. Made, making, right, in present continuous, you can use different tenses. And is used to force or require someone to take an action. Okay. Now, here are some sentences. When you make your sentence, aquí están los ejemplos, okay? If you want to look at them, you can. You cannot. 
please do not, no van a hacer esto, mandarme las mismas oraciones estas. All right? Do not give me the same sentences when you do them. This I will take into account as being activity. This will be activity number 12 in class. Individually, individually, individualmente, individually. Now, I'm going to give you two options. This is make, okay? Let me show you the other one. Get. Right? Get is to convince or encourage someone to do something, right? And here we use the get plus person plus infinitive, right? The two and the verb, basically the infinitive. Anytime you see the two plus verb, we're talking about infinitive. Here are some examples right here, right? If you want to look at them, you can. Now, for the instructions for this activity, can I take this off? Lo puedo remover? Can I remove it? Can anyone take a picture? You can. All right. Here's the activity. Now, I'm going to give you two options. Te voy a dar dos opciones. I'm going to give you two options. You can do it individually, and you will do three of each. So in total, son 12, a total of 12 sentences. The sentences cannot be less than six words, all right? No quiero una oración que I get money. No, 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 that's, that's basic English, all right? Or I make I make food. No, 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 tampoco, right? Right? Don't 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 go there with me. Please do not lower your, your standards. Okay. Do not lower your standards. If anything, upgrade your standards. Upgrade your standards. Give me the best, the most you can. Eso es lo que quiere usted. Que me den lo más que puedan. Don't give me lo menos que puedan. Give me the most you can. All right. More than six words, up to 15 words per sentence, max, all right? Tampoco get una historia, right? Because you have a certain amount of time to do this. I want three sentences using get, using make, using let, and using help. Now, if you want to work in group, in pairs, in pares, if you want to work in pairs, I will allow you, but, if you work in pairs, you're going to do five, 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 five. All right? So it's up to you. En pares le salen cinco cada uno. Individually, three each. In pairs is 20 total. Individual, individually is 12. Now. Let me let me put that up again. But I can, can you see everything? When, can you see the whole screen? Yes. Yes. Okay, great. Yes. Now, who wants to work in pairs? You know, quiero hacer en pares. Who wants to do it in pairs? One, two. Okay, Janari. Okay. And Francisco. Okay, only you two. All right, the rest of you will do it individually. Okay, tengo aquí tres. Three. Rio. Who? <laughs> Who? Okay. Can do the exercise. <laughs> In three, three person. Ah, in three. All right. 
A ver, let me see. It'll be Janari, Francisco, Teacher. and Jennifer. All right. Yes. Can you can you show me the formula of get or get or get? Okay. Can you see it? Thank you. Okay, no problem. All right. Let me see. Yes. Because um, I, I have a problem because I need to translate to my home and now I will, I'm going to drive. For... Okay. Okay, Glenda. Okay. We'll do the exercise individually, please. Okay, no problem. Okay. All right, let me see. Okay. In three, they say, right? Trios, Francisco, Janari, and Jennifer. Hmm, how would I do this? Well, it's possible. Hmm. <laughs> All right, I will do it. I will let you do it, okay? Okay. Okay, you're you going to do... Okay, but if you're going to do it in 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 trios, you're going to do okay, you're going to do six of each, okay, which is twenty four altogether. So son ocho cada uno, all right. Eight of each, so be 24 for, you're going to do six of each, okay? Janari, Francisco, and Jennifer, you're going to do six, 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 and six, okay? All right, let me send you in breakout room then. See, and the rest will just do it individually. When you finish, send it to me, okay? If you're doing it individually, you will only have to do three. Three of each. We have to and get, let, help, and make, right? Exactly. Okay. Okay, Janari. Okay, Janari, Francisco, and Jennifer. Are you ready? No, you ready? but. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Francisco, Jennifer, and Janari. You're going to one section on your own so you can work together, okay? It will only be you three. One, two, three.
when you finish with it, send it to me, please. With your name. Remember to use the structure.
Remember class, before, before the activity, I, I mentioned to you que me den lo mejor, okay? Give me your best. Okay? And if you want to advance in anything, especially in the English language, try not to be repetitive, okay? Traten de no ser repetitivos en todo, right? For example, I, 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 my, 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 he, he, he. All right? We, we, with that type of language, we're only focusing on basic English. All right? So I just want to clarify that. I let, I let it be known at the beginning of this activity que me den lo más que pueda, no lo menos que pueda. All right? So I want you to keep that in mind, okay? If you stay with my, 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 he, 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 she, 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 all right, and you're showing me that you're just repeating the same sentences, you know, más están cambiando el verbo, that's it, right? So try not to do that, okay? Try not to do that. Remember, you are, you are not lower intermediate, you are not basic, you are reaching upper intermediate, going for advanced, okay? advance so give me the best best you got make some good sentences okay give me something that they'll be like yeah aquí si veo que, right show me show me something let's see uh, Teacher, uh, can you please give me the permissions to share my screen? Sure. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hide it in my sister. Okay. It's about this. It's about this. I, I want uh, some of uh, like make. Okay, tell me, and we mm -hmm. I. Teacher. Mm -hmm. How can I uh, pronounce the I have one for lip. I don't. I don't let my daughter for for lips. Okay. I have I have some. Okay. Pause aquí. Pause aquí. Pause here. All right. I don't. Ah, very good. The daughter you put with an A. D A. I ah, tiene <laughs> right. <laughs> it's right. Uh, very good. All right, go ahead. Tell it, right? Remember, maybe I don't know, are you going to be able to finish? Son seis de cada uno. So yeah. maybe, maybe y'all can begin and then uh, um one does six, the other one does six, y así se la va dictando, right? All right. Yeah. Yes. yeah. We, we can we can have the same phrase. Now remember. Yes. Remember. Mm -hmm. Remember that I told you que me den lo más que pueda. Uh -huh. Yes. So try not to yeah. be try not to be repetitive. No traten de no ser repetitivos en todo. I I I you you he give me Give me something besides a uh, subject pronoun, right? Give me I want right? something in All the right. chat. All right. I don't know if you can see. 
Okay. Correction aquí. Yeah. Remember, ninguno, uh -huh. ninguno de los verbos va a ir en past participle. You use been. Been es el past participle de be. Uh -huh. No existe el to be. El infinitive es to be. Teacher, just... Remember the structures. Remember the structures. Yes, the verse is the, is the base form. Exactly, True. right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So when you say Clara, um, Clara, God, ahí está bien, God, el, el, los, los causative verbs sí los podemos cambiar. Mm -hmm. right? okay. 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 Pero ya lo que viene atrás o es infinitive o es base form. Ah, okay. No cual va a utilizar, right? But you mm -hmm. cannot use past participle porque no estamos... El, el verbo que sigue no puede ser past participle because we're not using uh, it's not it's not uh, it's not in the structure uh -huh. only ¿cuáles son las dos que están? base form y infinitive uh -huh. Uh -huh. so when I... you say Clara got her windows to be repaired not, mm. not to be repaired, porque el being is the past participle. Okay. okay. Uh, I I send to you the the for for let. Could you please check if this correct, teacher? Okay, let me see. Or uh, in the in the chat of Zoom, teacher, I can I send. Okay, no problem. You can send it. I will verify it there, and then I will look. Okay. Okay, okay, teacher. Okay. okay, no problem, but keep going, keep going, okay? Very good. Good job. Okay.
Freddy's. No, Freddy's. I remember the structure, okay? Try to stay with the structure. If it says someone, try to use someone, okay? Someone. The, the causative verb, then someone, or the object pronoun, and then the verb in the infinitive or in a base form, okay? If, if, you, if any of you need me to show you again the structure, just tell me and I will um, gladly show it here, right? Here's the one for make, right? Make plus a person plus the verb in base form, base form, right? You see this? Made me watch the students rewrite. These are all in base form, base form. Right? When you're using the make, base form of the verbs. And we're using people. We're using people, him, me, students. And then the verb in simple, simple form, base form.
Okay, Fabio. Hello, Fabio. Hello. All right. All right very good. Just a, a little mistakes, but I will let you know. Okay? okay. Just a little mistakes, but the main <clears throat> ideas and the what I was asking for, excellent. Very good. Thank you. All right. Very good. Very um, different, different sentences, different words. And uh, <clears throat> they were not short sentences, right? There were at least 10 words or more. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Uh, I will let you, I will modify a little bit with just a few, few little errors, but they're minor errors. Nothing to to get overwhelmed about. So very good, Fabio. Mm -hmm. Let me see. All right. Let's see. Okay, Diana. Yes. Okay, very good, very good. Just a few little errors. But I will let you know what those are, especially when you use let. Remember when we use let, we use the, the base form of the verb, right? But other than that, it's okay. Instead of the infinitive. But the sentences are very good, Diana. Thank you. All right. Very good. Excellent. Well done. <laughs> you have a little dog? <laughs> I have two. Okay. I see you mentioned him. <laughs> you mentioned him yeah, for her. Yeah, it's true. The sentences is true. It's true. All right. That's in the literal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. That's a figure. It's does well, you wouldn't use it in that aspect, but it's it's um it's inferred as to the person reading of what you're referring to when you say that, right? Go, <laughs> doing in the <laughs> Doing in the living room, what you put uh, dust, mm -hmm. dust in the living room. All right. Okay. All right. Very good. Very, very good. Very good. Let's see. Okay. All right, I'm going to give you like maybe two more minutes for everyone. If you if you're not finished um you can send them to me send me what you have okay teacher yes let me yeah you can connect me to break a room please oh i didn't let me see okay <laughs> what happened you disconnected with them I didn't even know. No, I, I have problem with uh, the audio. Okay, let me see. All right, let me put you back. Thank you. All right.
remember, Fredis, you have to have the infinitive verb or the base form of the verb in order for this to be a causative sentence. The sentence, the sentence is not incorrect, but it's not based on the structure. Right? You can see there, you have help each other, but where's the, the rest? Right? That's just a basic sentence. There's no, uh, there's no uh, additional information as far as the verb in infinitive or uh, in base form. Okay, I'm going to show something here. All right. Okay, now, All right, I'm bringing the other group back. We will continue. Let me see. All right, if you already, if you haven't finished, you can send me what you have, okay? If you haven't finished, send me what you have. This will be activity number 12, okay? Activity, I'm going to look here. Send me what you have. All right. Mándeme lo que tengan para poner su nombre que hicieron la actividad. All right. So, send me what you have. So, I can write your name down to make sure you did it or you didn't do it. One of the two. Okay, class. Let me see. I'm going to do the last attendance. I'm going to do it beforehand so if I call your name just say here Abigail Listen. okay thank you Beatriz Beatriz okay Blanca Present. okay thank you Brenda Brenda, okay, no answer. No, no estuvo conectada. Okay, Brenda, okay, zero. Let me see, Carlos. 
Carlos. Yes, teacher. I, I'm here present. All teacher. right. Thank you. Diana? Present. Thank you. Okay, Edwin, I know. Okay, Edwin, I know you're here, right here. All right. Flor? Flor? Okay, she didn't connect at all. Flor? Okay, zero. Francisco. Present teacher. Thank you. Freddy's. Freddy's. Okay, no answer. Glenda. Glenda. Okay, no answer. Iris. Teacher, I'm here. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Present it. Déjeme cambiar esto. Espérame, déjeme cambiar esto. Okay. Thank you, Glenda. Okay, Iris. Present teacher. Thank you. Jackie. I'm here. All right, great. Jarvin. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jennifer. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose. Juan Jose. Okay. No answer. Miguel. Miguel. Okay. He didn't connect at all. Zero. Fabio. Present. Uh, thank you. Rolando. Rolando. Okay. He didn't connect. Okay. Zero. And Janari. I'm here. All right. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Ya finalice esto para mandarlo. All right. Cool. All right. Let me let me go here. And I'm going to share something with you, right? Mireya, esto como en varios, not just one or two, but I think like three, three of you. Remember, I gave you the structure, right? Yo les Les puse la pantalla de la estructura. Some of you here pusieron el, el infinitive, el to. In the examples, there is no infinitive. It's, it's, this is just base form, right? Base form. Base form. Not the to plus the verb, base form. This is what it meant by B1, what I told you. B1 is a grammatical symbol where we use the base form if you see it here let her go you do not say let her to go right algunos de ustedes pusieron el to aquí right let for example let her la tercera the third one let her to go right that is incorrect we do not use the two we only use the the base form go right this is just an example I'm not saying that this is the sentence you gave me, but some of you put the the two in the verb when you, it was not necessary. Well, it doesn't go there, right? It doesn't go there. And let me see. Teacher, um, let me go to dance. It, it is correct. Excuse me? Let me go to dance. Let me go dance. Okay, you're saying, uh, let me go dance. Let me go. Let me go dance. But the second verb doesn't have infinitive form. Exactly. Yeah, but let me go. The second verb doesn't have infinitive, but the go to dance, yes. That's why I wasn't sure. Okay, did you send me your sentence? Uh, not yet. Not yet? Okay, when you send it to me, I will look at it closely to look at the context, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, no problem. All right. Let me go here with the... with my PowerPoint. Okay. All right, let me see. Okay, you see it here?
Eh, let me see. You see the let here? Ahí está en su manual también, right? Yeah. It's in your manual also, right? What did I do? All right, you see it here? It says let plus someone plus base form of the verb. Base form, right? I think who read this? Was it Fabio? Was it you that read this at the beginning, Fabio? Yes. All right, yes, you read it, right? So we have let plus someone and then base form of the verb. Now, Jennifer says something, right, Jennifer? Hello, Jennifer. Yes, teacher. Okay. Veamos su oración. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to share it with the class. Okay. Okay. My mother don't let me go to dance. Okay. My mother. Uh -huh. Don't let me go to dance. Okay. First error. El primer eh, error aquí. Doesn't. Sorry. Ah, very good. Third person. Doesn't. Very good. Doesn't. Let me go. Let me go. To dance. To dance. All right. Esa es toda la oración, right? That is your complete sentence? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Okay. Now. Jennifer mentioned about teacher, pero aquí vamos a utilizar el to, right? Jennifer? Hello, Jennifer? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay, your question is? Que si va el to aquí, verdad? Infinitive. Yes. All right, now. The reason here, the way you have it, Jennifer, what is the subject? All right, let's go with the let, right? We know that my mother is a subject, right? We all know that. This is just a negation, right? But, empecemos con el causative verb, let, all right? Let's look at the structure. Now, I'm going to ask the class. Le voy a preguntar a la clase, is Jennifer correct or not? Hello? Yes, teacher. You believe she's correct? Okay. Anyone else? Any opinions? All right. Thank you, Francisco, for your participation. Okay, so we have let. La estructura dice let plus someone, right? Plus base form. Base form. All right, base form. Right? Ya lo demás, it's just complement, right? It's just everything added after this, all right? It stops there. If you have this, si usted tiene esto, if you have this in your sentence, then you are using it correctly, okay? But if you just gave me a basic sentence, no más por decir una oración simple, then all you're doing is repeating basic English, all right? So I want to to know that. I want you to amplify your knowledge. You have to use another verb here, base form of, inclusive of a verb. So base form of the verb, veamos la oración de nuevo, let, we have let, let me go to dance, dijo ella, right? Tenemos el let, correct, we're good there, ahí estamos bien. ¿Cuál es el someone? What is the someone? Me. Very good. Let me. And what is the base form of the verb? Go. 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 Okay, hasta ahí. You're good, Jennifer. The only reason why you added another, uh, another action is because you included another verb. Pero ese ya, mm. ya es extra, okay? You That's have... a compliment. Exactly, right? So... Let me go, if you have let, someone, and then the base form of the verb, you're good. So you can continue to use another verb if you want, or um, uh, anything else. It doesn't let me go to work, doesn't let me go to dance. You said so to dance will be just a complement with another verb. So you have a verb here, a verb here, and a verb here. Right? Pero lo importante para la estructura era 
let someone, que es me, and then the base form of the verb, go. Everything else, you're good. So you used it correctly. All right? Very good, Jennifer, you're correct here. Okay, because the- Thank, Thanks for explaining, teacher. Very good, excellent. And I put this for the class because I wanted, I wanted everyone to see, okay? Because I wanted to see your, the complete sentence, right? The complete sentence. And that is the reason why you can add two here because it's basically a complement. You can end it. Uno puede terminar esta oración aquí. Here. Mi mamá no me deja ir. Doesn't let me go. But she added a compliment to dance. All right. That's just another action. Okay. Another action. So that is good. As long as you got it here. Correct. Then you're using the structure the way you are supposed to. All right, very good example, Jennifer, and thank you for uh, for asking the question. All right, but some of you, you didn't do this. You would, algunos de ustedes incluyeron el tú aquí, aquí enfrente del, del, del base form of the verb, tú, and that, that is incorrect. Ahí sí está incorrecto, All right? Doesn't let me to go, así, that is incorrect. Right, and I saw like two or three that did this. Right, under the base form of the verb, you use two, and that is um, that is not the way the structure is. Okay, well, I hope you send me everything. Pero ya me mandaron todos all your work, and thank you for those of you. I just saw the. Um, let me see. I saw the, the platform, le di un vistazo a la plataforma, right, before we ended the class. And let me see, I saw that some of you already did it, okay? Eran cinco, right? It was five that still hadn't completed the, the homework for unit three. And I saw three already did it. Unfortunately, two, todavía no, right, so, and they are not here in class, all right, so I'm sorry for them, right, hopefully they still do it by 12, pero como no están en clase hoy, okay, now, okay, class, remember you did great, and tomorrow we will begin unit four we will begin on page 33 all right page 33 and we're going to talk about loyalty all right la lealtad loyalty in a company and we will continue until next week with unit four okay so if you have any questions or anything let me know and I will gladly help you. And thank you for your participation and always asking questions for those of you that did it. And the one that stays tonight is um, Rolando. He's not here today. So I see you tomorrow. Take care and good night, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Good night. Okay. Good night. All right. All right. Good night. Okay. Good night, everyone. Thank you, teacher. All right, Good no problem. Good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. No problem. Mm.